All right, welcome back, Rux Cards. It's been a little while since I've uh, done a video. I'm going to do an end-of-the-year sort of wrap-up video today. Uh, what I'm going to go through is pickups throughout 2023. These were either through eBay, uh, through some uh, trade shows that I was at, card shows that I set up at. Um, yeah, or cards that I may have pulled. So uh, if there's any story behind them, I'll give you the quick little uh, rundown on it. Um, because, uh, and we'll get, we'll get started. Um, so anyway, hope everybody had a nice, uh, Christmas and uh, happy new year, everyone. Might as well get that out of the way right now. So starting off this one here, uh, for hockey fans, I don't do a lot of hockey, but, uh, this guy here ended up having a really good Stanley cup playoffs last year for the Florida Panthers and quick story. I'll share about, um, Carter Verhage is he was playing for the Syracuse Crunch. My dad lives up in Syracuse, New York, and I went with him to a hockey game to watch the Syrac Syracuse Crunch play when he was uh, playing for them. This was like two years ago, uh, two or three years ago. Yeah, just a couple years ago he was down with the Crunch and because um, it was in the Lightning's organization, and he's been since moved to the Panthers, and you can see his and the Young Guns rookie, he's got the Lightning on there. Anyway, uh, this was an eBay pickup. Um, I just figured, you know what? Oh, let me give you a little story about the. So at the end of the game, this guy had a hat trick in that game that I was at. And so he was like the star of the game. And then he came out at the end of the game and threw jerseys, like they do typically in the hockey games. He threw jerseys into the crowd and he threw one at me and I caught it. And, uh, or he threw them to my area and I caught it. So I uh, kind of had a, felt a little bit of a kind of a nostalgic attachment to this guy and picked up his uh, young guns. Here's an interesting one here. And if anybody has any. Um, more insight to add to this it's a very unique card it's actually a bruce lee quote-unquote rookie card and i think he's got like several of these because i've seen others but I, I from what i understand and again i'm not an expert at this which is why i'm asking for anyone that has any additional insight on it that's written in um in uh, chinese uh but anyway this is um I've always been a huge uh, Bruce Lee fan, and I just punched in one day. I'm like, Bruce Lee rookie, and um, like I said, there were several, like, same size cards as this, and but some have different shots, and from what I understand is this is the one that is, a, is considered to be his, quote, rookie or first card. I, you know, again, I don't know if that's true, but um, there's several on these uh on ebay that lists that as, as like a rookie or first card so anyway i picked it up and uh i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet i don't know if i'm gonna send it in for grading uh, i'd like to get it encapsulated because it's like a smaller card you can see the size of the of the uh, top loader and compared to the size of what the actual uh card or photograph is if you will and then again like the back is you know all written in chinese anyway pretty interesting pickup that i made this year Moving on to, this is a card that I pulled. Um, I watch NASCAR. You know, I wouldn't consider myself a diehard fan, but I do watch it. Joey Logano, who is a two-time NASCAR champion, he's from Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut. So I kind of um, uh, kind of jumped on the bandwagon for Logano, and, and I was looking for a guy to kind of root for. and So I uh, ended up pulling this card uh, this year, which is an autographed uh, you know card with a piece of his uh fire suit in there and it's numbered to 50 so i added that to my pc all these are pc items by the way here's a recent pickup uh as in like within the last month or so i uh, grew up watching the what i call the real uh incredible hulk not any cgi crap uh lou ferrigno uh autograph from uh, pop century nice picture of the hulk and lou back in his back in his day um so that was pretty cool to pick that one up it's out of only uh 12 that's uh, nice to add that to the pc it's along the same lines big john travolta fan grease and saturday night fever and all that welcome back cotter uh so i added a john travolta autograph to my pc it's pretty cool this one's out of 12 12 of 12. this one here i pulled and these are super rare. These are like one out of every, I think it's like 1,700 packs 
you get a chance at an autograph. And this is out of Stranger Things Season 4 that came out maybe about three months ago. I think it's been out for, well, it's been out maybe at least three months, three or four months now. Um, and I uh, pulled Millie, Bobby Brown, out of it. So uh, numbered out of only 86. Those of you familiar with the show, Stranger Things, you know, it's it's um, it's an 80s genre television show. And uh, that's why they made it out of 86 uh serial number to 86 and uh so yeah i was like wow to get one of these to get 11 um those of you familiar with the show that's the character name and, and to get the star millie bobby brown pretty cool it's hard to put a price on this i've seen these going close to a thousand dollars on ebay it's a really range between you know like anything else it's a, there's there's a especially something rare like this they're kind of all over the place but anywhere between 500 and a thousand dollars is what this card is valued at um but it's in my pc and this is a grail card for me. I was after this card for years. Um, always loved this Topps Chrome 2015 Hulk Hogan on-card autograph where he didn't sign it Hulkster. Some of these he signed Hulkster. I wanted it to be Hulk Hogan, so I was kind of particular about that. Um, after this card for so many years, often they went for close to $1,000, if not over $1,000. Some of them have like the Pulsar borders as well so i might have been looking at those two versus just a standard chrome i didn't really care about the pulsar stuff and the refractor and all that kind of thing i just i just always loved this card as a um again growing up in the 80s when wrestling was wrestling and um what i consider the real prime years of, of wrestling with hogan a uh, huge hulk hogan fan and finally got my hands on this card at, and i got it at a really good price so happy all the way around with this one here um added to the pc um just awesome Hulk Hogan on card autograph, 2015 Topps Chrome. Uh, like I said, Grail card for me. So that's probably my only like Grail card I think for this year. Like card that I've been like after forever. Um, uh, so that's uh, that was an awesome pickup. All right, moving on. We'll go to. Uh, I'm a big USC fan, and so Mr. Heisman Caleb Williams. I wanted to get his autograph in a uh, in a USC um uniform uh, before we end up you know finding out where he ends up going probably number one overall um in the pros so i got uh this nice uh caleb williams out of the bowman university uh paid a pretty good price for this one his cards are not cheap but uh, that was a pretty nice pickup for uh you know to add to my pc this one here is not a pc ad it's actually a card that i've had forever uh, basically since 87 or whatever when I had the card game. What's new about this is I got it graded. Um, it's a card that I wanted to get graded because I knew I... It's tough to get it in 10. This, these cards came out of the classic board game. And um, what makes this um, Bo Jackson special is, you know, he's got his Auburn, even though it's a baseball card, he's got his Auburn college football uniform on. And it's considered his rookie. Um, again, 1987 classic. Bo Jackson, and I figured I'd get an eight on it. There's, there's, I mean, it's in really good shape overall, but there is a little bit, like you see that bottom left corner, it's got a little bit of white there. So, I, I mean, I know I wasn't going to get a 10 or anything. Um, I thought nine maybe had an outside shot, but I was thinking it was going to come back at eight, and that's what it did. But, but a lot of these cards are, are not in that good of shape that you may see. Um, so, anyway, not a card that uh, was a recent ad. It's just that I figured I'd talk about it because I, I got it graded and, uh, you know, it looks pretty sharp in the SGC holder. This one here, quick story. I traded, I used to have this card, and I traded in a big deal. I made it the National last last year, not this past year. So I wanted to get another one, and I went on eBay and um, bought this card raw. It looked good enough. I didn't think it was a 10. You know, of course, you always hope that you get a shot at a 10, but it looked really good. I mean, I paid top of the line for it, thinking that maybe it would be a 10. Ended up getting a 9. Um, but this is a, uh, so I bought it raw this year, uh, sent it into PSA and got a nine on it. I mean, I was happy with a nine. You always want a 10, but I'm sure they, you know, they probably really further scrutinized the, the Brady's and Manning rookies. And so, uh, you know, getting a nine on it wasn't all that surprising. So that was a pickup this year. Um, I went to a New York card show and, uh, what I've been doing with the Jerry Rice's is, trying to just uh, level up. So I bought a six uh, rice 
rookie at the National back in that same National I was referring to earlier a couple years ago in Atlantic City. Bought a six, jer uh, six Jerry Rice there. And then um, I purchased this seven at the New York Syracuse show um, from a guy. I paid, again, he didn't really negotiate much down. I think I paid around 90 I want to say like 90 bucks for it, or something like that. Um, so my next one now is to level up to an 8. And uh, so that'll be my next uh, kind of job for 2024. And I already sold the 6 that I had. So uh, this is my only rice in the PC. So looking for an 8 now. All right. Next up is... Bring this stack out. So not all, not all these are super high value. Some of these are just have sort of, you know, some kind of uh, attachment in some way, shape, or form. So I'm a big Lou Gehrig fan as a Yankee fan. Lou Gehrig's one of my all-time favorite Yankees. And so um, just was fishing around on eBay, and, and I, I didn't even realize that that Stadium Club made these kind of cool-looking um, uh, flashback cards. And here's a picture. I remember this photo is kind of famous. I've seen this photo of Gehrig before. But they kind of put it in this nice little prism look. Uh, sharp little card. It's not numbered or anything. It's just a um, whatever stadium calls their, you know, uh, prism -y, whatever. Whatever this kind of look is. Just thought it was a cool card out of the Stadium Club Chrome. Same thing with this one here. Again, these cards are not worth a heck of a lot. I might have got them for, I don't know, a few bucks or five bucks or maybe ten bucks on, on eBay. I can't remember what I paid, but no more, more than ten bucks, we'll say. And here's one with uh, Lou Gehrig and uh, and Babe Ruth kind of joking around. I've never seen this actual photo, so this is just kind of cool. I don't know if they spliced these two together or if this was an actual picture. It looks like it's an actual picture, but who knows. Uh, but it's cool. It's got uh, the Babe blowing on a saxophone and Gehrig plugging his ears. Uh, and they're kind of having a fun time goofing around. So I thought this was a pretty pretty cool card. Again, not not any you know type of high value or anything. Uh, this one here I pulled out of a pack of the uh, I think it was what Topps Chrome, yeah. So Topps Chrome of last year, but I opened it this year, um, or maybe it came out this year. Even though it was 2022, I know that happened a lot this year's products. Um, again, not a high value card. I love these cards that they made in this set. Um, I forget what they're called. They're called Diamond Greats. Beautiful cards. I mean, these really I thought Topps uh, should have made these serial numbered and much more harder to get just because of how really nice job they did on these cards. They are beautiful cards. So you say that, and they'd be obviously a lot more expensive. It's also good that they made such a beautiful card you get really cheap because they produced a lot of them. You know, to each his own, I guess. I guess it's good in that sense because it didn't cost me much to... I mean, I actually pulled this card. But anyway, thought I wanted to, I wanted to get it graded and encapsulated. I thought it would look good in an SGC um, tux, and I uh, came back at 9.5. So just a cool cool little uh gary picture gear um card this one here is a drew jones um speckle refractor rookie this card uh, a dealer a fellow dealer friend of mine um had it he, you know we set up next to each other and, and he actually pulled this card and then i bought it from him and i sent it in to sgc and it tend on me so that was that was awesome to get a gem a uh, copy of Drew Jones. Hopefully this guy ends up panning out. We'll see. Uh, either way, it's nice to get a 10 speckle rookie of him. I'm a big fan of these cards. These are the um, throwback threads. The How I got into this card many years ago, speaking of Lou Gehrig, I probably had his card. I think these came out in, what, 2012 or something? I don't remember how, when these came out. Uh, 2002. Okay, it's much, much longer than that. So I probably have had the Garrick for almost 20 years. Uh, but anyway, what's cool about these cards, I've never, I'm not really a big game jersey or patch type cards just in general. But what I am starting to collect more now, because they just don't make them anymore oftentimes, is the actual game jersey or game worn jersey cards. What you're finding now, or for the last several years, is these patch cards or whatever. At the very minimum now, they're just player, they're like event worn, where they may have put it on for a photograph and they take it right off. You don't see many game worn stuff anymore. And then you'll, oftentimes, even more so now, you're even seeing that they don't wear the card at all. It just says it's a, this is not from an event, not player worn, 
Basically, you could be going to Dick's Sporting Goods, cutting up a jersey and plugging, putting it into the card. That's what you. That's what you're getting now in the soup. You know, in the, the most recent cards that say jersey, or even the RPAs. Same thing. They're not even uh, game worn. That's not to be said about these cards. So these throwback threads that Dunruss did, uh, Dunruss Elite back in the uh, early 2000s, um, I have been uh, collecting quite a few of them. And uh, so I added George, I added, added a bunch of them that I'm reselling, but I'm also, um, you know, some of these I went to my PC. What's also cool about the Dunruss Elite is they actually have taken a photograph of the jersey that the swatch was taken off of. And they're also serial numbered. So there's so many uh, cool little uh, perks to these cards because they're game-worn, game-used, has a photograph of the jersey itself and serial numbered. So it's got everything that you're looking for in terms of game-worn uh, memorabilia. And so uh, now that I'm done giving my little spiel about that, <laughs> I'll show you one other one that I added to my collection this year. Ted Williams. I told you about how I have Lou Gehrig's jersey. Here's a Ted Williams. So how cool is this, you know? So, I mean, George Brett, obviously Hall of Famer. Ted Williams, one of the greatest, if not greatest, hitter of all time. A piece of his game-worn jersey. Again, the photograph of Ted Williams' jersey on the back of the card. CO number 2100. This is the third one that was made. You can't beat this kind of stuff. If you're talking about authentic game worn material, um, Dunruss Elite, you know, got it right. So I, I'm I'm all over these um, and continue to add them to my collection. All right, Mr. Hot Rookie of uh, 2023, kind of tailed off the end of the season, but obviously this guy's got spectacular skills um, and ability, and uh, so we'll see what he does next year. This card I bought. Um, I don't know if it was, I think it was off of Facebook. I don't, I think it was off Facebook. I can't remember. I don't think it was eBay. Somehow I got in touch with this guy online and we just did a deal off, uh, offline for this one. He had just pulled it. I think it was a, it might have been, I don't remember what it was. Somehow I got in touch with this guy online and it was either a live chat or a Facebook post or something. I forget what it was. It might have been a Facebook post. Either way. That's how I acquired this card, and uh, just paid him straight up for it. He gave me a deal, um, and uh, I added my Ellie De La Cruz autograph to the uh, to the collection. This is Bowman Sterling. All right. Oh, I thought I would let me go back. I got I know I got some other Ellies here. I must have moved them around. Here we go. While we're on the Ellie, I'll keep the Ellie. So these two, I. Um, I might have either pulled this one or I got it on eBay. But either way, I sent it in for uh, grading and got a 10. This is his uh, mega uh, his mega rookie out of uh, Bowman Chrome. So pretty cool there to get a 10. I actually had a couple other 10s that I've sold this year. Um, obviously wanted to keep one for my PC. This one here I pulled. So out of the Sapphire... Uh, I pulled his uh, his rookie first and sent it in and also got a 10. So uh, that one is nice to add to my PC too, especially since you know I pulled this one. So that's always pretty cool. All right. The Volpe craze. Yes, when he was called up before the season started, I overpaid like a jackass on eBay. Um, <laughs> full disclosure. Um, cause obviously he, he ended up having a pretty good year and I think Volpe is going to be really good. And so I, I'm not, uh, as I was a little anxious, uh, you know, mid part of the season when he was really struggling, hitting barely 200 and, um, you know, I was really starting to second guess myself, but he, he kind of really uh, pulled himself together and really finished the year strong, had over 20 homers, a bunch of stolen bases, getting his average up to respectability. So I think Volpe's got a bright future here in, in the Yankees. And so all of these I still overpaid for. <laughs> I mean, uh, the night he was called up, I went on eBay and just, yeah, like anybody else, because I wasn't the only one. Every, people were all, and I was outbidding people, and I was being outbid for others. And, um but here's his um, his mega uh, Bowman Chrome first. So that one's nice. 
this one here was one of my purchases. Spent like hundred and I don't know, hundred and fifty bucks if not more on this one, and it's only a nine sapphire. You know, so I, I mean, I don't know if this card is even worth a hundred bucks right now. Uh, I don't even know if it's worth fifty bucks right now. I haven't checked recently, but it did drop significantly. Uh, and again, he, he stabilized. So I mean, he was falling, and then stuff started to rebound a little bit. So and I think Volpe is going to be okay. But anyway, I, I still. Right now, as of today, overpaid for for these. Um, so, lesson to be learned, you know. Um, you know, I should have bought them a couple months sooner. This one here was a huge mistake. Not only did I over overpay for it, but I also bought a damaged card because I was so anxiously bidding on these cards that night that I actually didn't read the description. And I went back and checked my eBay purchases, and I saw that. Because I, I noticed the, the uh, I'll show you in a moment where it's damaged. Um, but I noticed it, like, well afterwards. Like, I was just going through my PC again, and I happened to notice it. I don't even think I noticed it when I first got the card in, front, in the mail. I, I didn't, actually. I know it for a fact. So I'm like, oh, shoot, what the heck is this, man? I, the guy sold me a damaged card, and I was going to go and, you know, go chase him down uh, on online. But uh, when I went back to the item... It says right in the headline, read description. <laughs> so, another learning lesson for anyone out there. Uh, make sure you read anything that says read description on it. Because oftentimes, it's the seller trying to advise you that there's something uh, with the card that you should be aware of. So, I had nothing, I had no, nothing I could do, you know. And I think I spent like 300 and almost $400 for this card that night he was called up uh, it's a beautiful card it's centered perfectly I mean the front of this card is amazing look how centered it is obviously sharp corners just perfect which is why I didn't read the description <laughs> and uh, I just thought this thing was fantastic bid it up and I wasn't the only one like I said there was a bidding war for this card I won it but it was like you know 380 bucks or something like that and uh, here's the problem. So I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up. It should because it's pretty apparent. But let me see if I can see that right there. If, I can, if the light hits it right. There is a manufactured. It's nothing actually damaged to the card in terms of it being bent. But there's a crease and you can't even see the whole thing. I'm trying to make it so that it'll... Maybe you could see the whole thing. But see, if you, show, if you look at it from this way, the card looks perfect. But if the light hits it right... And right about here is where you can see it. You'll see the crease running down the card. And it actually runs all the way down the middle of the card. You probably, I think you'll lose it right about here. But this crease, and it's not even a crease. It's like where they kind of coat the card on the back, the coating. And there was something where it just, when it did the press or whatever, it just crinkled that, that, uh, that um, laminate or whatever they put on it. So again, the card itself is not creased. It just has that lamination. It's got like a seal, um, which looks like a crease that runs down the middle of the card. Because again, the card isn't creased at all. There's no no crease at all in the front of the card whatsoever. It's just that that laminate seal that they put on to coat the, coat the card you know, runs all the way down. So, and he did advise any buyers of it, and I didn't see it. Um, so, it is what it is at this point, cause it, and it's too bad, because the front of this card is so perfect. But, and even the back of the card really is perfect. It's just the sealant made a crease down the middle. So, sucks, because I was going to send it in and get graded. Um, but no sense in doing that now. Anyway, sorry, I spent a lot of time talking about that one, but I wanted to, it's kind of a little bit of a lesson for any for anyone shopping on eBay. This one here is another eBay purchase. Again, I probably paid 300, well over over 300 bucks for this card. Hoping to get a 10 on it. Um, I think when I looked it over before I sent it in, I, I did see like a small blemish, so I didn't think I'd get a 10. And sure enough, I did not get a nine on it. So that kind of sucked. 
Uh, but yeah, those two cards alone were I spent 700 bucks on those two Volpe's. So hopefully, uh, and like I said, he really did rebound at the end of the year. I think Volpe, his future is bright. I think he'll learn, and his average will definitely. Uh, well, hopefully, you would think he'd go up now with experience. And um, you know, when you play in the Bronx and the Yankees and the pressure, and, you know, Jeter at shortstop, and you know he's the new guy, and you know, I think that he uh, he handled himself pretty well. So I'm hoping that uh, Volpe has a bright future and that these cards can at least get back to yeah, what I paid for them. But we'll see. Uh, but this one here, you know, with the damage on it, you know, that's kind of a lost cause. All right, considering con or keeping with Volpe, here's a, uh, this is not his Bowman first, but it's a his prospect. I bought this one that same night. Like I said, I bought a bunch of Volpes, and this one ended up tenning. Uh, Gemin from SGC. Nice sapphire blue of Volpe. On to my other guy that I've been collecting for a couple years is uh, Julio Rodriguez. This one I got off of Whatnot uh, this year. It's only a 9. Uh, I think I got it at a... I don't know. I think I paid probably what it was going for at the time. I like Julio. A lot of people said that you know he had a bad year. He had a rough start, but he, he was a slow starter his rookie year when he went off. And last year, too, he ended up rebounding and having just another stellar season. This guy is the goods for sure. Uh, I am not worried about um, Julio Rodriguez at all. I think the best is even yet to come. And a guy who's putting up 30-plus homers and you know close to 40-plus stolen bases a year. Um, and I think he's only going to continue to get better as he enters his prime. Um, so I get, uh, you know, he might be making claim to being the best player in baseball here very soon. Um Outside of Altani, of course. Speaking of that, here's another pickup I made. I spent a pretty good amount on this. I think I spent like, uh, I want to say, I want to say close to 400 on this. I can't remember now. Uh, CO numbered to 150. This is the Future Vibrance uh, Julio Rodriguez uh, autograph. Um, I always wanted this card. You know, it's got the on card autograph of Julio. Um, Got this at a trade show. Um, knew the dealer. I think I got it for around four. Maybe I got it a little bit below that. Um, but something, you know, it was pretty pretty high-end card there. Dave Winfield, my idol growing up. Uh, I actually sold. I had a card that I had in my PC for a long time. so And it came back a four, I think, or something like that. Or, a, or it was a six. I can't remember what it was now. Anyway, it was a nice card, and I look I had other dealers look at it, and they're like, there's no way. What the heck is, is PSA doing grading it? I uh, can't remember if it was a 4 or a 6. I might have came back a 6. Anyway, once I sold it, I just wanted another one, so I went out on uh, eBay and grabbed a, grabbed a 6 again just to get uh, another Dave Winfield rookie in my in my PC. So um, This one's not even as nice as the one that I sold, and this one's a 6. So... Um, and this is my plan here is to do the same thing I'm doing with the Jerry Rice, and that is to level up. So I'll be looking out for a seven, eight, nine, etc. As uh, moving forward with the with the Winfield, and keep it with the Yankees. This one here was a cool um, move by me. I think I have to pat myself in the back every once in a while. Um, so again, at Syracuse show this. Dealer had this card on his table. I think he was asking for like 50 bucks for it. Uh, it was raw. And um, it was in really good shape. You know, I'm like looking at it. I'm like, the borders are nice. The card has got really good colors. Like sometimes this card you'll find it's got like faded color. It's like a little bit faded. Because um, this is an older card now, like 1984. Um, but it has such vibrant colors. And, and the centering looked really good. Not exactly perfect, but... Uh, I think I even talked him down to like 30 bucks that I bought this card for. Knowing that it, like raw copies go for about usually around 70, 80 bucks typically. Um, you know, good raw copies of this card. And then uh, sent it in and got a 9 from SGC. So um, pretty good, pretty good deal there. Um, you know, for the Mattingly rookie um, that I've never had in my PC. All right. So wrapping and finalizing things up here in terms of cards. We, uh, as an Eagles fan, those of you who have been following my channel know that I'm an Eagles fan, so how could I go a whole year without any Eagles pickups? Now you may be wondering to yourself, what the heck, this guy is in a Raiders uniform. Yes, that is true. Um, this is Charlie Garner, one of my all-time favorite Eagles. Um, he had a better career once the Eagles uh, let him go. 
young in his career. He ended up going and having really great seasons with the 49ers and the Raiders. Um, but since I am still a huge Charlie Garner fan, I'm always out there in the market for really, you know, kind of rare cards of him. This one's on a 175, so it's not like, you know, super, super rare. But it's a cool uh, gold X-Fractor. And, um, you know, so I, I grabbed that. You know, I, I believe me, I'd much rather him being an Eagle uniform. All my other Garner cards are in an Eagle uniform. I think for maybe one, I might have another 49er one. Um, but otherwise, uh, there's that. Picked up a couple Mike Quick autographs. This one's out of 49. These were eBay purchases, by the way. Um, Mike Quick, one of the all-time great Eagle wide receivers. So that was a cool pickup. Here's another Mike Quick. By the way, I just picked up two more Quick autographs that are coming out of mosaic he's in this past year's mosaics which i, I just found out so i grabbed a couple of those that got coming in uh, but here's another mic quick this one's out of uh, 75 out of illusions so pretty cool there continue with the eagles hopefully i think he's uh, probably going to win defensive rookie of the year jalen carter i know witherspoon for seattle is probably going to give uh, him the, the biggest threat for that but Jalen Carter, the outstanding rookie defensive tackle, first round draft pick, uh, getting his uh, autograph, which was pretty cool. Um, this is out of 199. Picked this one at up at a uh, card show, so that was that was pretty cool out of mosaic. And his partner in crime on the defensive end or defensive tackle, defensive line, I should say, is former is Jesus going to talk. His partner on the defensive line, defensive tackle Jordan Davis. That's what I meant to say. This is a, how cool a card is this? Color match, team color match with the Eagle Green. Just this card just jumps right out of you. Look how beautiful this card is. I don't know if it's even going to do it justice on video. Um, but um, dealer, dealer friend of mine pulled this card, and so I made a deal with him. Might have traded. I might have did a trade cash type thing. Uh, it is his rookie out of contenders. Again, team color match, autograph. I mean, it doesn't get any more beautiful than this. Sometimes you got to really give these card companies credit for just making spectacular looking cards. And I would rate this one as that. Um, I guess it's not numbered. I thought maybe it was. I don't see a number on it. So, yeah, nice add to my PC there. This one's a relatively recent pickup. Uh, I think maybe a couple months ago I grabbed this one, uh, which I haven't had it yet. Uh, is That's the uh, Contenders. This was the Optic version. I usually do the standard Contenders, not necessarily the Optic. I kind of just like the, the regular Contenders better. But this, I had an opportunity to grab this one. Uh, got it at a decent decent price, maybe 90 bucks, something around there. I think I talked them down to like 90. And uh, so anyway, Demonte Smith. Ricky ticket autograph out of uh, Contenders Optic. And here's another one. This one I picked up um, relatively cheap at a show. Um, just because I thought, you know, again, color match. Uh, it is CEO numbered. It's actually the first card. One of 35. Get this thing to focus. Can you focus? Jesus. Well, you have to take my word for it. It's one. There it is. One out of thirty-five. There it is. Thank you. One out of thirty-five. Uh, Devonte Smith out of Spectra. Green color match. Cool ass card. Sent it in for grading. Got a ten. Pretty damn cool. Gotta love that. Pick that up at a card show also. This one I also picked up at a card show. It's a guy that frequents my table when I set up. And he's a high-end dealer. This guy's always got killer stuff. And we did a cash trade for this one. He wanted like four twenty. I think he paid for like three twenty-five for it, or four. I think he paid like either three or four hundred dollars for it. And um, so I ended up doing a cash trade. I think I gave him like one seventy-five in cash, and the rest was in you know. Uh, other autograph cards that uh, that he was interested in uh, that I had. So ended up picking up this uh, Jalen Hurts 
RPA on a certified red version out of only $199. So that was pretty freaking cool um, to get a nice uh, RPA from Jalen. Of Jalen, I should say. Speaking of rookies, this one here was an eBay purchase. This card has gone, I think it's almost doubled in value from what I paid for it. And I paid a lot. I mean, this card wasn't cheap. Um, this is out of National Treasures, the uh, Field Pass Rookie Auto of Jalen Hurts, on-card auto, out of only 99. So, yeah, this was a beautiful uh, purchase added to my PC. Almost had it a year now, because I got it, like, in January of last year. So, uh, that was pretty sweet. So, a couple Hertz autos that I added. And then I added some, uh, I didn't buy these cards graded. I, uh, I love this Fireburst out of Phoenix. It's one of my favorite Hertz rookies. I think it's really undervalued. I think the, the look of it is really nice. Um, so I've been picking up these Fireburst cards, um, looking them over. Of course, eBay, you never know what quality you're getting. And I would say I've probably bought about 10 or maybe a dozen on eBay. And I think I'm only sent in two or three for grading. So this just tells you the you're usually not going to get 10s uh, on eBay. But sometimes you do. Like I said, this one was. Uh, you do get them occasionally. So uh, I sent this one in and it came back at 10. So... Uh, like I said, plus I don't send them all in. Like I, I'll send in the ones that I that I feel could tend. Uh, I do my own kind of scrutiny before I send them in, and I think I was two for three. One of I got two two tens, and I think the other one was a nine five. So I almost got three tens. Um, so anyway, pretty cool there. This one here again, I have referenced that Syracuse show a few times now. I go up there. Uh, every once in a while um, to that Syracuse show at the convention center. And I picked this one up there. This one, the dealer wanted to give me a deal on it. I really, I tried to get him to talk him down. It's a nine out of the uh, Prism Blacks. This is the silver. This is a, just, I love this card. I, I got to get a 10 on this somehow, some way. Um, I had a raw copy myself, but it's not, it's got like a dimple in it. That's the tough part about these Prisms a lot of times. You know, even if they're centered, they have dimples occasionally just from the manufacturer. This one, I don't even see really anything wrong with it. So I don't know why it got, I, mean, I think maybe top to bottom. I think top to bottom, centering-wise, it's a little off. You know, that's probably why I got a 9. Anyway, paid about 100 bucks for it. Add to the PC. This one is a success story for sure. Bought this off eBay for, I don't know, about 100 bucks or so. Team color match, uh, silver prism. I don't know if you want to call it silver prism. I guess it's green prism. Uh, but the color match and looked really good. Again, eBay purchase. Uh, looked it over, sent it in, and the gems. Now, one of them was an eBay. I don't know where I got this other one. But I sent in two of them this year. And got a 10 also. Only one of them did I acquire this year. Like I had this one previously. But sent both of these puppies in. I know I've showed this in a previous video. But they're in the PC. And uh, these one of them was acquired this year. So that is uh, pretty damn sweet. For the Eagles collection. And finally. I, I think I showed this before. This is, a, uh, this is just a unique item. You're not going to find this anywhere. Because there's only one of them in the world. <laughs> And it says right there, one-on-one -on -one booklet, handcrafted and certified. And there's the uh, artist who did it. I'll give him a little promo, I guess. Shivas Cards and Customs. I actually didn't meet this guy. I got a friend of mine who's a dealer, knows I'm an Eagle fan. He's actually an Eagles fan. And he brought this in at one of the shows we did together. And he goes, hey, you interested in this? I'm like, hell yeah. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. And, of course... I'm a sucker for anything Brian Dawkins. I basically PC Brian Dawkins. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I mean as an Eagle fan, who the hell wouldn't? But um, but I have a pretty good, a huge collection of Dawkins rookies and autographs and stuff and rare cards. And so I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll buy that. And uh, he didn't even uh, add on anything. He said he paid like 25 for it, which to me is like, I mean, I know it's just a custom card, but to me. 25 bucks for this no brainer so pretty damn pretty damn cool all right 
so that's it for cards. I'm going to go through one last thing. Thanks for sticking with me, everybody. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't had a chance uh, to do so. I have some... What I did this year also was... Uh, I bought... I got a friend who... Uh, who was at an estate sale. And at the estate sale, the, the uh, I guess the previous owner was you know recently deceased and he had a collection of autographed baseballs so they asked me if i was interested i kind of they sent me some photographs and i looked at them i'm like yeah sure so they per made the purchase and then i purchased it from them gave them a little bit more obviously so they got something out of it and uh and then i brought them to jsa to get them certified because that was really the key so um I'll show you the certification first. Here's uh, 509. You see the last three digits? And there's 509 on the ball. Certified by JSA. And the autograph is Mr. Tom Seaver. So, pretty cool there. Authenticated by JSA, which is always cool because when you get something from a state sale, you... You never quite know. They looked they looked authentic to me, but uh, you know I don't have a as trained as I as, as those uh, you know professional guys do. Number two baseball, five oh eight, five oh eight, autographed by another Hall of Famer, Lou Brock. So pretty cool. With that one, this is again. I acquired these all in one purchase earlier this year. Um, here's a um, third one here. Certification number five ten. Certification number five ten. If you focus on, there you go. Who is this? Well, this is Mr. Tony Gwynn. So how cool is that? Not the greatest. It's got a little. It's not really smudged. It's just it looked like he whatever marker he was using was, didn't work all that great. Because some of these, uh, like the G is there, but it's not not really there. But it doesn't look like it's faded. It just looks like the marker uh, kind of just wasn't working all that great. Whatever he used to sign it. Anyway, Tony Gwynn, certified auto. And this one here. It was in the uh, estate sale also. And I don't have the... I didn't get this one JSA'd. He actually did. So there's the uh, number. Certain number. There's the uh, JSA. It's actually sealed too. It's actually sealed in a... Uh, in a uh, it's just sealed. The ball is. And this is... Bernie Williams. Of the Yankees. So pretty cool. Now I saved the best for last. So thanks for sticking with me. You're rewarded for this with this one. Because this one, I'm going to show you the ball first in this one. Because the value of this one, the certification is actually a standardized letter that you get from JSA. So I'll give you a look at the ball. Now this ball, what they couldn't verify, what they couldn't authenticate is that if it's game used or not. To me, now again, who knows? This looks like it's actually a game used ball that was signed by, I'll give you the name in a moment. I mean, look at this ball. I'll try not to reveal the signature. But this ball looks like it's game used. It's actually verified that it was actually uh, because of the um, commissioner. It is the commissioner uh, during the era that he pitched. Um, so it's possible this is a game used ball. Uh, but there's just no way for JSA even to, authentic, to you know, to say to determine that. It's just, and that makes sense, right? I mean, how the heck can you prove that? But it certainly looks like this game, this ball was used. And it's signed by Sandy Koufax. I'll give you a closer look at this one. This is definitely was the um, was the gem of the purchase that I made, being that Sandy Koufax. Now again, I wasn't sure if it was uh, authentic. You hope it was, of course. 
it looked certainly authentic and so I'll just leave that there for a second and I'll show you what JSA sends you for this because of the value of it they take a photograph of the ball for those of you who are not familiar with it and they send you the letter of authenticity um, so with it signed by a JSA representative so and it just basically you know verifies a certain number and gives you the historical data on the ball itself so pretty damn cool um, it's interesting I've only, I've actually had it for a year so it's just probably it's really right around the year because I'm looking at this now and they auth actually authenticated on December 22nd so I've had, had it for a year I guess technically it shouldn't be a 2023 pickup but I knew it was close and either way it's cool to look at is it not so give you one last look Sandy Koufax signed probably game used baseball but that part we can't uh, validate but uh, there you go. All right. Well, thanks for sticking with me. Um, everyone, everyone to have a happy new year. We'll be back for a lot more content in 2024. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave any comments of anything you saw. Um, really appreciate it. I always like to hear from you. And I'll respond back to anyone who um, leaves a comment. All right. Again, happy new year, everybody. Take care. And we will be back at some point in 20. Well, we'll see you next year, right? I could say that. Catch you later. See ya.